regain consciousness. Just tiptoe outside a bit, let the sun come up, light up the town. Here we are. <clears throat> Brave warriors! Is anybody looking to make a name for themselves? Fine, fine, fine. We'll wait, wait another, another two hours. The sun finally creeps over the horizon. Ooh, blood red roads. Furrowed silty clay. Hello, Dusk Elves. Dusk Elf Weaver. Dusk Elf Gem Cutter. Just a regular Dusk Elf. Do any of you know how to use a weapon? Fish cleaner, bower. Is anyone a leader? Do you have leaders? Is it just poor peasants and farmhands that live here? It is an awfully small place. Is it just this one farmhouse, too? There's another road. Another farm. <clears throat> Since it's a new day, we may have to leave this place and search for a bigger hamlet. Fisherman, animal trainer, a tanner, a dusk elf pump operator with a name. Hello, Ai. You look important. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I have no family to speak of. What about you? What's your profession? I'm a pump operator. Pump, 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 pump operator. What do you know about the surroundings? Which pier is nearly a day's travel to the north? In year 10, the kindled hex of the blowing lies found at which pair? We are in Shove's Peak. In 43, the Syrian Society of the Awe Inspiring Nation founded Shove Peaks. Counseled Caverns is nearly a day's travel to the southeast. In 1443, the Azrakam elf Opsin Padzai was abducted from Counseled Caverns by the Azrakam elf Mintsu Pigsloshes. <clears throat> okay, okay. Are you gonna join me and go to battle? I would, um, or rather not. Fine. We'll leave that little humble abode. Go check these ones over here, and then we'll be on our way. We'll quit harassing the, the poor village folk. They don't have the stomach for the kind of stuff we plan on doing. A clothier and a butcher, a weaver, mechanic, herbalist, farmer, miner. No one. No one with courage. Do you not have any guards in this place either? Regular dark elf. Dusk elf, I mean. Dusk elf. Yep. <clears throat> so nobody here for us. I don't even see leaders. Maybe all of their leaders have been killed. Is anyone holding a weapon? Negative. So we'll get out of here. No, we'll head to our location on our own. We'll kill... Izaka, Nurtured, Stir, all on our own. Or we'll die trying. There's the camp. Right here, right on the edge of this river. We begin sneaking. And our task is to the south. The dried up little pond bed there. Fall on that and I'll be stuck. And I can hear Izaka already. He's humming a song. Surely they don't know where I'm at. There he is. See if we can approach him from down low. He's just setting at that tree, whittling away. Maybe making himself something. We'll approach from behind. Try to slit his throat. Current attack. Strike. Yep, we're just going to strike at him. We're rather skilled. I don't want to charge at him, because I don't want to give him a chance to throw me off balance. If he charges, we're going to dodge, try to roll around. This is, this is what I normally do. My, my act of survival and current charge defense is to dodge away. Don't let him run into us with the full force of his weapons and um, drive us to the ground. So wham, we come out around, around the tree and he spots us and an arrow instantly flies and strikes us in the lower body. We see him, Izaka Commander. Um, let's see, we'll aim a, aim a sword blow at him. Tricky, normal strike, easier strike, fairly solid on his hand. <clears throat> He's left part of his hand exposed towards us as he charged at us. Easy strike, fairly solid. Could also go for his thumbs, it looks like. Fingers. Fourth toe mouths and stuff. Could go for his crotch. I think we'll pass that for now. And go just directly for his right hand. Maybe we can sever it off. It's an easy strike, a fairly solid blow. It'll cut through. We slash at it. He loses hold of his right glove. We slash him in the right hand with his bronze sword. And his arm sails off in a bloody arc. We've still got the arrow protruding out of us. He's stunned, trying to regain himself. 
Let's see what other attacks we can do here. Normal, normal, normal. <clears throat> Tricky. Um, he's getting, he's, I guess, trying to fall backwards after that attack, so we don't have his nearly easy, um, line on him with our sword. Impossible, fairly solid, only graze. We'll go for his other hand, his left hand. Even if we graze it, maybe we can still gash it open. We slash at it. We slash him on the left hand, tearing apart the skin through the cotton fiber left glove, but it doesn't cut very deep. Right upper arm, graze it. Normal strike, can't land squarely, let's see. Fairly solid, the only fairly solid blow we can get is on his lower body, but it's tricky. I think we'll do another easy shot, try to nick him, drive him, continue to drive him backward. Backwards, um, where is it? Normal, tricky, easy can't land squarely on his leg we'll try that we slash at it we slash the commander in the left lower leg an artery has been opened up and a sensory nerve has been severed the sword lodges in the wound let's recover that we'll interact with our sword and gain possession we struggle with the sword trying to pry it out of the wound it must have been jammed into a bone we gain possession of it and aim at him again let's see right upper arm easy strike fairly solid um, let's go for that. Maybe we can chop his arm off completely. He's stunned. He might be done for. We slash the commander in the right upper arm. Many nerves have been severed. I think that arm is completely useless then. Easy strike. Can't quite connect. Go for the leg. Slash it. A sensory nerve has been severed. We slash him in the left upper arm. He drops, drops his bow. He looks up at us and threatens us again. You're in no position to threaten anyone. We slash him in the ligament, and then we stab him in the right upper arm, and he bleeds to death finally. Looks like he was the only one here at this camp. Um, what does he have? Hammerhead, shark leather, quiver. I'm not going to be taking up archery or anything like that, so we're going to leave his quiver and stuff there. A silver fox leather exquisite shoe. I don't have very good gear on. Bronze recurve bow. Um, we'll take that. Maybe we can sell it trade it away because they my gear it's mostly silk and leather right now k spider silk um yeah all silk apparently giant i've got chit and treated shoes so my shoes are somewhat armored cypress chest boar leather trousers take the trousers and we'll wear them if it's leather it's better than silk he didn't have a very good stash he hadn't stolen very much or he had to sell everything that he did still um, we'll travel out of here. And you know what? Where's, do we still have that arrow stuck in us? I actually, no, I don't think we do. Apparently it didn't get jammed in us, so I was going to rip it out before we travel. It's now noon. The sun is high in the sky. We're going to march back to one of these hamlets. Maybe they'll send us on a quest far across the other side of the land or something. It looks just like fairly big. Uh, same one, only four, though. Oh, well. We'll spend the day here. The whole day. Maybe. I can never make up my mind. Dusk Elf Mechanic. Hello, Dwarf. I am on a purple donkey. Don't travel alone at night. Let's tell him what we did. We slayed that bandit you sent me after. The Dusk Elf Mechanic. This is fantastic. May Izaka nurture and stir rot forever in the hellish underworld. Well, do you have anything else for me before I head out? Anything else I can do for your wonderful empire? A particular outlaw has been causing us much hardship. Bend Tox is a short walk to the northwest. Sneak this place and kill Opavire, Grimmed Mind, or Gripped Mind, the crossbowman. Great. Just what I wanted. Hunt down a murderous crossbowman. He's not too far to the northwest. We'll head that way. Um, you know what? Hey... There's some shops right here. We'll hang out in this hamlet before we head any further. Um, let's enter it and see what's going on. It's probably a Dusk Elf one as well. We're drowsy. Need to call it a day. Hello, Dusk Elf. I am M. Goodwebbed. Can I be of help? <clears throat> Let me crawl into your legs inside your house here. Curl up in the corner with... Tobul Wald Orbs. Nope. Call it, it's Oputh Work Grottoes. Can I be of some help? 
Yeah, do you mind if I stay in your shelter for the night? I don't want to brave the boogeyman. And of course he says. Yeah, and goodbye. Thank you very much. And you know, we'll just sleep until dawn and then head out when the sun comes back up. If I wasn't afraid of being trapped out after dark, I'd run around for a bit looking for a fortress. What if those boogeymen catch us scouting around the woods at night? It's, we're done with. Necro Roars. The Hamlet. Let's leave Necro Roars. If I get turned into something. Hey, look, there's another fortress. Let's head to it real quick. Surely that's not the same one, is it? We'll head to the east here. And a herd of goats run away at our approach. A herd of muskrats, too, or something. What are you things? Ferrets, perhaps? Groundhogs. I'm gonna make some groundhog armor after them. We've entered Groundhog Fortress. And they built this place out of calcite. Beautiful white, illustrious walls gleam in the in the morning sun. A bunch of rabbits. Is there anyone living here or is it just the animals? Let's check this top tower. Don't tell me all of these fortresses have been overrun and destroyed. I think they have. There's no one even up here. Um, something has been killing all of the all of the soldiers in the land for these poor dusk elves. We'll have to leave this dusk elf empire if we're gonna find any help. Oh, groundhogs are all standing up, pushing each other over, having fun. Quit goofing around, damn groundhogs.